in perfect timing a train's going by, which seems completely, completely appropriate for our gathering. Good afternoon and welcome to our noon devotion. It is good for us to gather together, to hear God's word, uh, be reminded that we are connected in the times of being physically distanced. Whether you're watching us live or streaming this later, we are glad you are with us. You are among friends. You are not alone. A few announcements as we begin. In our hearts and our prayers this week, we hold Paul and Gail McKim, Burl Ruth, Shirley Emmerich, Carol Lape, Chris Bayshore, Rod Spies, John Hopman, Kathy Shirk, Bob Gregory, Norman Forey, John Fraunfelter, Eugene Moyer, Dylan McKenzie, Anna Smith, Bob Dutt. We hold in our hearts and our prayers those responding to the devastating fires in the West. And may we remember on this day, September 11th, the lives lost, the hearts broken, and the healing and growth that has come out of the tragedy in 2001. We continue to pray to God for healing and wholeness for this nation and for all those families deeply impacted by the events of September 11, 2001. Our, noon connect, or our connections continue on Facebook Live in the following ways. Next week, we'll have noon devotions, Monday through Friday. Bible study on Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. is through Zoom, so please send me an email if you'd like to join us. Everyone is welcome, um, but because it's the Zoom platform, you need a, a link to get signed in. But everyone is welcome to join us for that. Hold an evening prayer Wednesday at 7.30 and making music. Um, each week we'll be joining a different choir director as choirs have a chance to practice and rehearse together through Facebook Live. So that happens this Thursday at 6.15 and Sunday worship at 9 a.m. Youth in grades 7 through 12, Sunday School Zoom begins this Sunday at 10.30. If you haven't received the link, please email me or send me a text. We hope that you'll join us for in-person worship at the pavilion this Sunday, if weather permits. We thank you for those who have been attending, for loving your neighbor by maintaining space between families and for wearing masks. It is good for us to gather together. Again, if the weather seems a little off on Sunday, an announcement will be made on Facebook and on our phone answering machine by 8 a.m. if you have questions about whether we'll be outside or just streaming live. If you are in need of conversation, support, or help with errands, please give us a call at the church. If there are things weighing on your heart or your soul, let us know so we can pray together. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for your continued presence among us. May we feel your comfort and presence in loudness and in silence, in the presence of crowds, in solitude, and in the still yet persistent presence of others. Amen. A reading from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains be toppled into the depths of the sea, though its waters rage and foam, though the mountains tremble at its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of this city. It shall not be overthrown. God shall help it at the break of day. The nations make much ado and the dominions are shaken. God has spoken and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come now and look upon the works of the Lord. What awesome things God has done on earth. It is God who makes war to cease in the world, who breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the shields with fire. Be still then and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Here ends the reading. I saw a post going around on social media this past week with a picture of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, two of my favorite characters growing up, and they still are. Part of that post was a short story from the book, The House at Pooh Corner. I'd like to share that story with you today. Today was a difficult day, said Pooh. There was a pause. Do you wanna talk about it? Asked Piglet. No, said Pooh after a bit. 
No, I don't think I do. That's okay, said Piglet, and he came and sat beside his friend. What are you doing? asked Pooh. Nothing really, said Piglet. Only I know what difficult days are like. I quite often don't feel like talking about it on my difficult days either. But goodness, continued Piglet, difficult days are so much easier when you know you've got someone there for you. And I'll always be here for you, Pooh. As Pooh sat there working through in his head his difficult day, while the solid, reliable piglet sat next to him quietly, swinging his little legs, he thought that his best friend had never been more right. Gosh, A.A. A. Milne, you know what you're writing and how to share that with others. As Chris Kennedy and I were talking this week, we had a few thoughts. Well, we had lots of thoughts, but I'd like to share a few specific ones today. One is that we were thankful to be able to gather via Zoom with some of Trinity's youth on Sunday evening. It was good to see their faces, hear their laughter, their stories, their worries, their struggles, and their joys. We realized, Chris and I, that we wish we could lead them through this pandemic. But truth be told, and maybe you hadn't noticed, but neither Chris nor myself are adolescents entering the eighth and ninth grade in a pandemic with virtual learning. So as much as we would love to, we cannot tell them what it will be like. We cannot speak to them from this specific experience. But, big but here, but we can be here with them. We can be there for them. We can walk alongside of them. We can listen to their experiences with honest and open hearts. We can help carry them and even drag them through the roughest and toughest spots if we must. We can be there for them. I believe that this is the call of the church right now more than ever, to be present with, to walk alongside of, and to listen. While my conversation with Chris spun out of an experience with Trinity's youth, the same it's the same for the rest of us, isn't it? I wish we had the experience to tell parents what it's like to work from home and teach your children at the same time. I wish we had the experience to tell teachers exactly how virtual learning will work and how to troubleshoot any technical difficulties you might encounter. I wish we had the experience to help small business owners to know when this will all be over and how their livelihood will be affected because of a pandemic. I wish we had the experience to know just how to pastor to you all in the midst of the pandemic, but we've never done this before. We are all gaining experience each and every day. We are learning by and through what we do each and every day. And we are getting some things right, and other times we fall completely short. And when we do fall short or fall down or completely forget something or someone, because it happens, and it happened to me again this week, I pray, I pray fervently that God's presence is still known and felt in those mishaps and those mistakes. And I pray that in the stillness or in the solitude or in the presence of others, you know that God is with you, sitting beside you, present, especially in those difficult days. And today may be one such difficult day for many of us. We may not have all the answers or even know what all the questions are going to be, but we are here and we are doing our best to be present. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. May those words be a reminder of the presence of God with you today and all days. Amen. Let us pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Receive God's blessing. May the God of all steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another. May you seek peace and pursue it. May you depart from evil and do good. And may you go from this gathering wrapped in God's grace now and forever. And let all God's children say, Amen. Blessings, everyone. Be well. We hope to be with you together, weather permitting, on Sunday morning. Rest, breathe easy, and know that God is with you.